Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and uh, back to our JavaScript series. So in the previous video, we have talked about what do you mean by promise.all. So we have discussed about that. If you have number of uh, functions which are returning uh, a specific promise, for example, one function is returning uh, promise one, which is fulfilled, or you can say result. Promise number two is again fulfilled and the result. So when you use promise dot all with promise one and promise two, and then once both the promises are fulfilled, and then it will give you the combined promise in the form of array, and then you can use it for further purpose. Same thing with respect to promise dot all also. Let's see if one other example we, we have taken in the last session also that promise one is fulfilled, promise two is rejected. The moment the any specific promise is getting rejected, immediately it will tell you that, okay, yeah, the one of them is rejected and then it will return the rejected promise over here with promise dot all so one promise is rejected and the previous diagram all the promises are resolved or fulfilled but today we are going to talk about what do you mean by promise dot all settled method so i really want a mechanism where i can just simply say that promise one and promise two for example one is rejected one is fulfilled so i really want to use promise dot all settled method promise one and promise two it should be promise two actually and uh, i really want to know the status of each and every promise that which one got rejected which one got uh, failed or which one having the error and which could not be resolved so i really want that complete uh, fulfilled status and i really want complete rejected status also with respect to value and the error here so here if you see in this diagram also that this is a normal promise that different promises are coming or single promise is coming and it's getting resolved or rejected promise dot all means let's see all the promises are getting resolved and then i'm getting the combined result if any of them is getting rejected i'm getting the rejected promise over here but promise dot all settled method says that let's see if you have multiple promises or multiple functions which are returning the promises some of them got resolved and some of them got rejected over here you can see that this is resolved this is resolved and this is resolved, but these three are rejected here. In that case, I'm going to use promise dot all settled. And I really want to know the combined result at which one got rejected and which one got resolved over here. So that is the purpose of the promise dot all settled method that we are going to use it here. Right. So let's use it practically here. Use case man means useful when you want to promise process all the promises, whether they succeed or fail. And you want to gather information about the outcome of each and every promise that tell me the status, why it got failed, and what is the reason for the rejection. If it is getting resolved or succeed, then tell me the value also for the respective promise. So there are two status we are going to talk about. One is fulfilled and the rejected. Fulfilled means the result and the rejected with the reason over here. Right. So I'll do one thing. I'm going to create a use case here. For example, let's take the same one that. Uh, one promise is actually getting rejected and one is getting failed. So we will take this one case number two that we used in the last example. Also, I'm just going to copy these two methods and then I'm going to paste it here. This is the case use case that we are going to use. F1 got resolved and F2 got rejected with a reason that data is not available. So I'm deliberately calling the reject method here and this is with the resolve. So this function F1 function is getting resolved with the resolve promise and get error is getting rejected with the error. So these two methods are ready. So I simply say that, okay, fine. Now I'm going to write that uh, promise dot see this method, all settled method. And again, I'm uh, in this all settled method, I'm going to use it an array. And then I'm going to call these two methods one by one. So I'm calling first of all, get data. And then again, I'm writing a uh, get error also. I'm just calling it here. So here, in the last uh, session also exactly same thing that we did it here as well that get data get error in the form of array that we have to call so let me write it in the new line so that you can see it clearly here and then we have to handle it so i'm going to write dot uh, then here and after then whatever the combined result that we are getting from these two uh, functions i'm going to store it let's see in some results array here so this is the results array and now i really want to supply this result array for the further purpose so what exactly i'm going to do it here that i'm going to use this particular results dot for each method i can use it here because this is an array and i really want to iterate so in this results array i'm having the status of 
get data and get error promises. What is the status? What is the reason, rejection, values, and everything I'm having in this particular array. And one by one, I'm going to iterate each and every promise here. So I simply say, okay, fine, that I really want to iterate and I'm going to create another variable, let's see result variable. And then I'm going to supply it here. And then I'm going to write one if condition that if the result dot see this status is equal to fulfilled, right? If it is equal to fulfilled, then what do you want? Fulfilled is the inbuilt, uh, I would say the keyword is already there because the status is already defined. If you see this, it's already there, a status equal to fulfilled and it can be rejected also. In case of promise rejected result, rejected. In case of fulfilled, it is fulfilled instead of resolved. Okay, so you can say fulfilled also or resolved, but when you really, really want to write in the if condition, you have to write a fulfilled here. If your uh, promise is fulfilled, then give me the value or print the status or whatever you want to do it here. So let's say I'm writing console.log and whatever the value that you are getting from that particular promise. So from this promise, we are getting first of all result dot uh, status. Let's say I really want to print or let's print the status or you can print the result also if you really want to get it here or you can see that direct status or dot value also you can print here. Okay, so let's say I'm printing the value here. Else, it means if it got rejected, then if it is rejected, then what do you want? If it is rejected, then I simply say that, okay, fine. In the form of console dot error that I'm printing it. And uh, here I'm writing that reason for a rejection comma and whatever the result dot and see this, you can write dot reason. Also, you can use it here that if got rejected, give me the reason. If got passed or fulfilled, give me the value here and that's it. So it will iterate each and every promise coming from get data and get error. Tomorrow, if you have 10 promises, it will iterate all the 10 promises one by one. So let's see what is the output of this program. So I'm just good to the terminal and then I'm going to call this node uh, promises all settled.js and run it. We have given a delay of two seconds. So now you can see nice the value we are getting from the first promise data from get data and the second promise is giving me the error. The reason for rejection is data is not available from get error. So that is the difference between all settled and the promises dot all. If you see this promise dot all here, one promise is giving me the data and second promise is giving me the rejection here. But with the help of promise dot all, if you use it here, see this, I'm going to a simple run this promise dot all dot js. If one of them is getting rejected, we will see the rejection here. Not all the promises information you can see rejection here, right? But in the promise dot all, you will get everything and each and every promise status and uh, their value, rejection, reason, and everything you are getting it here. So that's what the difference between all settled and all. Okay, that's what if you see this diagram also, we are getting combined result over here. Okay, I hope this is clear. This is a very famous interview question. Please prepare it between difference between promise.all and promise.all settled. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much.